Hey guys, so I'm back in LA and loving it, even though, I'm just gonna put you down here, even though, um, oh, this is, <laughs> this is a really weird setup. I don't have my tripod on my camera, so I'm having to bend right down to talk to you. Um, yeah, so arrived in LA on Saturday. I was in Miami for a couple of days and then um, our flight was delayed. I flew here with Kate um, and I fell asleep at the gate. I was that tired. And then we ended up arriving here at 2.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. We were supposed to get in at like 11 p.m. And we were just exhausted. Oh, this is just the worst angle ever. I'm just gonna hold the camera up. And yeah, so being here today is Tuesday. We've had Sunday and Monday. Um, Sunday, we just took it really easy. Yesterday, I had meetings and stuff. I'm here for the usual in LA, which is meetings, auditions, um, catching up with my agents and managers here. Oh. I'm home alone, I just swear I just heard a noise. I'm just gonna go and have a little look in here. Weird. We have a bit of a full house here. So whilst I'm home alone and the house is all peaceful and I've just had like a little tidy up and stuff, lit a candle, got the fire on, I thought that I would do a little tour for you guys because I always do these when I come to LA and we rent a house and stuff. Um, so yeah, staying here, we've got me, Kate, Jim, Georgia who works with Jim and our friend James. So there's five of us here, which is so much fun and we're just having the best time. Although Jim and George are actually in Vegas at the moment, um, having a little road trip, which is fun. Um, and James has just gone for a walk because he only got in last night. And so he's just said he's going for a walk on sunset. Um, he's also got a bad back and says he needs to pick up some paracetamol. And Kate's on a run because she's training for a half marathon. So she's gone off on some mad long run. So I'm all home alone, which is perfect because it means I can do a tour and not be disturbed and be able to just go around. Oh my God, did you just see that? I just led on this thinking that the door was gonna be, um, for some reason, locked into the floor and it wasn't. I'm going to take you to the beginning of the house. Um, the beginning of the house, the front door. And um, let's start it here. So I'll just show you outside. This is our little, um, steps up to the front door we're opposite a car park it's literally rained ever since we got here but apparently the sun's going to come out tomorrow so that would be really really nice because even when you're here to work and you're not you know hanging out in the sun it's still so lovely when um the sun's shining it just like gives you a pep in your step so this is as you come into the house we have a little loo here not that exciting. Here's me in the mirror. Some little flowers. I love the furniture in this place. It's so fun. Like I get really attached to the places that I stay in LA and always try and like stay in the same one again. But the place that we stayed in last time, if you, if any of you watched my last um, video I made in LA and I did a tour of that place, it wasn't available. I also thought because of the time of year, it would be a waste of time and having like a pool and a hot tub and stuff. So we just wouldn't use it. So we went for this place, but it's very cozy here and gorgeous and I love it. Lovely chairs, cute little, noughts and crosses game got a table which i'm drying my washing on i did washing last night and couldn't find a washing line anywhere so i've just been drying my stuff all around the place uh this is our kitchen i'm obsessed with this little bench here like i just think that's so cute this whenever i stay in like really cool stylized la houses and we always um book one fine stay houses because they're just so much better than airbnb um I always get inspiration for how to, you know, do interior design in my own place. I got flowers because I'm so homely, guys. I went to um, Erewhon, which is the most crazy supermarket ever here. Although they look a little bit like they're dying already, but um, just thought it was nice to have flowers in the place. Um, and the essentials, bagels and bananas we've got in there. Go inside the fridge because everyone always likes to see inside someone else's fridge. To be honest, we eat out all the time in LA, so um, we don't really have much in the fridge. We just kind of have bagels and bananas for the morning. Um, also, we've been waking up so early. Oh my God, this orange juice is so good. Forgot we had that. I'm gonna have some of that in a bit. Okay, through here we have our washing machine and tumble dryer. 
which is so nice to have. It's honestly, I love staying here instead of a hotel. It's just feels so much better. And even though I'm actually not in LA for that long this time round, um, I still would rather stay in a house than a hotel. This is one of the bedrooms, very cute. Um, then we come through here, go to my room, which I love so much. Look at this. It's gorgeous. And this rug, when you get up in the morning, oh, it's so soft on your feet. I love it. Ignore my super messy case, which I've not unpacked. This is the garden. I'll take you out there in a second, but I like that I can see it from my room. Then, oh, I have this nice mirror here. I'm gonna do a little outfit of the day for you guys. This jumper's by um, a brand called The Elder Statesman, and I love it so much. This is one of my favorite jumpers in my wardrobe. And I've just tucked it into some redone jeans. Went to redone yesterday and um, they gave me loads of new jeans, which is so kind of them. And I love, they're the only jeans that I wear now. I just love redone. Ever since I last came to LA and they gave me some, they're just my only jeans that I wear. Like, I just think they're so cool. Like the bum, sorry to show you guys my bum, but it just has that vintage, cool Levi's look about them. And I just, love it like i can't imagine ever wanting to wear any other brand of jeans ever again they basically get old levi's and reconstruct them into their patterns to make them really cool i also got like a red hoodie from them and loads more jeans and a jean jacket and stuff but i can show you guys that later coming into the bathroom how gorgeous is this seriously got a double sink which is just the dream um bathtub shower like a nice rainfall shower up there and then the loo okay now this is the exciting part actually it's all the exciting part but um let me take you I'm just gonna put my slides on and take you guys out here so this is our little outdoor area which we've not used yet sadly because the weather's been so bad but the next three days that we're here, it's going to get sunnier. So I said to James just now, I was like, we're definitely having coffee tomorrow morning out here. And then in here, it's another room. How cool is that? It's like a little outhouse thing. So that is where we're staying. Um, and I'm very, very happy here. I wish I could be here for longer. <gasps> um, but I have to be back to London. So I can't stay as long on this trip, but I definitely want to come back and be here for longer soon. It's just, it's so much more productive here. And I don't know, I was gonna say, I don't know why, but it is because so much more stuff is casting here than in the UK, but I just get so many more auditions here than I do in London, which just means more opportunity to get cast in stuff. So it just makes so much more sense for me to be here. I might just show you some things that I've got since being here. So camera down here so I went to Reformation and I don't know if you've heard me talk about Reformation before but it's one of my favorite places to buy clothes and they have the Reformation normal store here and then they also have Reformation vintage which is just down the street on Melrose opposite on the opposite side of the street and I found these vintage trousers and what are the chances that they fit perfectly you might be like, that's not that weird. But for me, honestly, because my waist and hips are like quite, they're like a whole size apart a lot of the time. It's so unusual for me to be able to buy trousers that are high waisted and not have to have them tailored at the hips or the waist. So I put these on. Where are they initially from? Jones, New York. That's so cute. Yeah, and they are like this. I just think they're so beautifully made. And I just think it's really cool to have something that's vintage because no one else is going to have it um they're a bit long for me so i'm deciding what to do um the, this is all the line sorry it shows you guys they then go quite wide at the leg and then taper in at the bottom like a cigarette pant i just think they're really really cool but yeah the they're about so this is what they're like usually how the kind of cut of them is but i have to turn them up this much but then the light the black lining on the inside just sticks out the bottom so i might just actually just cut that and just have a rough edge I don't know if that's bad but yeah I got those and then I just got a couple of plain t-shirts one I've got on just a white one. Oh, this is not from the vintage this is from regular reformation I just bought like a little black crop top um they're just 
so soft and the quality is really good and the cut's amazing you might just be like that's a black crop t-shirt but it's something that i would get excited about and this is what i would wear with these trousers from redone they gave me another pair of jeans which are levi's original ones again they're they're the same kind of cut that i've got on but they've got loads of like tears and rips in then i got a black skinny pair and i love the color of these i just think they're quite a unique colour and I love that they have the um, buttons going all the way down with the redone jeans because I find that they really kind of suck you in so much better than a zip. Um, got this really fun bright red hoodie that's cropped. Love it. Um, then I just got another pair of black jeans that are um, more just kind of like a real black black whereas those are more kind of like faded and then these are so cool. These are their um, stovepipe shapes. They're much more of a straight leg and they're really like rigid denim and they're white. And then finally, a denim jacket, which is gorgeous. Isn't this so nice? So that is all of my kind of clothes that I've got since I've been here. Oh, I went to Glossier and topped up on my milk jelly cleanser. I bought one for the shower and then this one is the size that I use for my gym bag. So I've got both sizes because that is such a good cleanser. I'm loving the philosophy one as well that I, I think I showed you in my last video. I've got that in here and I am going to use it up. But whilst I'm here and it's so easy to buy Glossier, I was like, I'm just going to buy some. But this is the cleanser that I'm using most of the time at the moment, which I showed you in my last video. Um, anything interesting to show you in here? Well, I had a facial yesterday. It was amazing at Kate Somerville on Melrose and um, my skin feels so good. I think it was just really dehydrated and felt a bit like sandpaper and really needed a good exfoliate. So that was lovely. I think it's like, I don't know where my phone is actually. Oh, it's down here. Um, right now the time is 8am. God, it feels like I've been up for absolutely hours. I've been up since half past four because I'm jet lagged still and I really haven't done well with the jet lag this trip and um, I went and did a 5 a.m. Barry's class which absolutely killed me. Did so many squats and also they make you run faster here than they do in London I swear like I was sprinting on a 10 and usually this won't mean anything to any of you unless you do Barry's classes. I get asked so much about my fitness routine that I just thought I may as well tell you guys a little bit instead of being like I just do Barry's boot camp in case any of you actually do it. I only ever in london stick to the beginners level so when they say run on a five six or seven i run on a five when they're like seven eight or nine i run at seven and then sprinting for me nine is a sprint and i don't usually go any higher than that but today he was like sprinting then guys 10 11 12 so 10 is the minimum that you're allowed to do and i was just like oh my god i'm literally gonna fall off this treadmill and then they made us do like a hundred squats no probably more we were squatting for literally about 13 minutes straight just doing different variations of squats um so my legs felt very shaky when i left and then i just came home did a bit of work and waited for the others to leave so i could have the house to myself and vlog and do a little tour for you all i feel like i've been talking for so long you're going to be so bored of me right now so I'm gonna switch the camera off and film little snippets of the rest of the day for you in a bit. See you in a bit. Having breakfast at Earth Cafe, pre-meetings, and look at this omelette. I went for mushrooms, cheese, some kind of onions, and the most enormous coffee ever. Look at that. It's now um, like 7.30 p.m. I haven't filmed anything for hours because today has been a bit of a weird one. I had lots of meetings and stuff, which obviously I couldn't film that stuff. And then I had an audition come through, which was a voiceover audition for an animation. So I've been like learning lines for that and stuff. And then I've just felt really, really not that great. I think I just haven't slept well since I've been here and just felt like a bit sicky and so yeah that's why I haven't filmed for a few hours but I have had a productive day so that is good. Um we're now off out for dinner so I just thought I would do a little uh change of outfit um vlog update for you. This is a realization part up which I've never worn before. It's really 
um, loud, I guess you'd say. Um, and I've never really found a reason to wear it before, but I feel like going out for dinner tonight that it would be good. And I have just paired it with some jeans. These are some of the new ones that I showed you earlier. These are the, um, I think these have a bit of stretch in, I think. They're the same style as the ones I had on earlier, but a bit kind of like tighter and stretchier, whereas the other ones look a bit more casual. And then I've got on, sorry, my stuff is in such a mess, awful. Um, then this is how I take off my clothes, just in a heap on the floor, really, really bad. But then for shoes, I've got on my YSL little mules, which I love, so cute. And then just all of my usual jewelry. I just walked into my bathroom and saw this and I thought I'm really happy that it's not just me who just leaves all of my stuff in a heap on the floor because I always get told off about it but Kate um, had a bath in our bath this morning and look this is her stuff in a heap on the floor right next to mine. today. I'm now heading back to the house. I've had a meeting, I've had an audition which I think went really well and I've just got a little bit of downtime now. I also really need to sort out my suitcase because it's in such a huge mess um, and then I'm just going for dinner later and then flying home tomorrow so I might just end this vlog here because I'd quite like to be able to edit it on the plane and get it up for you guys. Thank you for watching um, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!